Okie dokie, poe pe 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 people. <laughs> the heat's getting to me, I think. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do now is make butterflies. So, what we need, very simple. Come here. Uh, you need two pieces of paper. You need one square piece of paper and one round piece of paper. And it needs to be paper, not cardstock. And uh, you will also need a pair of wire cutter pliers. And uh, those are needle nose for twisting the antenna. You'll need a piece of wire about six inches long. And you have to have a scoreboard. Um, whatever size your square piece of paper is, your circle needs to be an inch smaller. So this is a six inch square a piece of paper and a five inch circle. Now I have under all this the Martha Stewart circle cutter. You just put your piece of paper down and put your cutter in it and whiz it around and cut your circle out. They're quite handy to have. Still, um, uh, first thing you got to do is hold your, come on here, paper diagonally, lined up the best you can here, come on, you're being difficult, there we go. Okie dokie. So that crease will go sideways. And you will notice I have a red mark down my scoreboard. Well, this is the reason why I have that. When you're doing a piece of paper like this, if you were trying to line it up and there wasn't any red line, you're trying to see well, okay, is this the same line as that or not, or am I over one? With the mar line marked, you can see that, yep, we got her lined up. So what you want to do, you got it lined up, score it, and then you're going to score every quarter of an inch across both sides. And then once you got this side done, you just, I just swing it around to do it on that side. And so when you're done, you've got your piece all scored like that. Then you take your round piece, fold it in half, see if we can do a better job getting this folded, and then you fold it again the other way and make sure that that gets lined up. And we're going to do the same thing. Get your your fold line right along the same line and then just start scoring every quarter of an inch until you have the whole thing scored.
And so you just, <clears throat> just swing it around like that and rather than reaching over this way, it, I just find this easier. And so on until you have it all scored and then you start folding. So you take your outside edge and fold it down and then you just start accordion folding. Oh, so humid here that the, the paper's soggy, it's not <laughs> folding well. Just back and forth. And you can see why you use paper and not cardstock because it would get way too thick. So this is what you're ending up with is the the accordion fold on it. So you do both of those. So they end up looking like this. The square and the circle. Get everything all squunched up. And where you had that center fold, just give it a, a bit of a, a twist here. So that'll fold back a bit. Do the same thing with the, the circle. Just bend it back. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. That's why I should have done that. Okay. Then you're going to bring these together and just put a little bit of glue just to hold it here. I'll reach in front of you and get one of my Donna Dreams times three clothespins here and just center to center, sort of squish it together. And then just put your clothespin on there and just let it set up a minute just to hold itself until it gets dried. You want to take your piece of wire and just fold it in half ish <laughs> like that. Now the lady that I saw her do this. Where's my piece of paper here? Scrappin' Maniac Corner. Um, she put beads along here to make the body. I didn't. <clears throat> All I did was just stick a jewel on. You can do whatever you want. If you want to thread some beads on there, go to her. And then you just slide one under and one over. Come here. So you have one underneath and one over top. And then just give it a twist. A couple twists. And that'll hold it together. See how fast and easy this comes together? And then you just take your your needle nose pliers here. Grab a hold of the end and just twist it around till you're happy with the, the antenna. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then you just fan it out a bit and just stick your jewel on top. That's all there is to it. It's just that fast and easy. It does take a while to get everything folded up. You know, the 
the back and forth here of this. This is the, the hard part. But after that, but it just goes together that quickly. So you just put your wire, one half goes up and the other half goes underneath and just give it a twist and then twist your antenna. And there you got a butterfly. So the square has to be an inch bigger than the circle. And like I said, <clears throat> this is a six inch square and a five inch circle. That one is a five inch square and a four inch circle. I haven't made any smaller ones yet. This is all I've done. So how? That's that. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Okay, folks, take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.